plaid mini skirts and graphic tees as if. Here are the latest fashion don'ts. It's an arm sock. It's a glove, you know? Where does this go? Then where does this go? Oh! <laughs> Thanks to Stranger Things, we're seeing some of the old 80s looks coming back onto the scene. And while we can hear millennials screaming into the void, Y2K fashion of the early 2000s, including low-rise jeans, has even made a comeback. These decades-old trends are really fun to incorporate into your wardrobe, but here's a tried-and-true tip you need to hear. Never wear retro pieces without first giving them a modern edge. Otherwise, you'll look like a jazzercizer ready to break a sweat with Jane Fonda rather than a trendy young person who's paying homage to the 1980s with an eclectic print or chunky earrings. As Vogue noted, we've witnessed retro looks re-emerge onto the fashion scene. However, the fashion magazine explained that it's incredibly important to modernize the old-school silhouettes. As no one needs earlobe-high shoulder pads and ill-fitting hippie vests, those belong in the past. Fashion is always about individual expression, and if paying homage to a decade gone by is a part of your style, there's a fashionable and unfashionable way to do it. Is there anything as versatile as the ankle boot? The perfect shoe for that in-between summer and fall weather, the ankle boot is a tried-and-true classic that never really seems to go out of style. But when it comes to things you should never wear, you must be aware of one ankle boot caveat. Michelle Skanga, the managing editor for Who What Wear, shared that wearing socks of a particular color with ankle boots is the worst fashion faux pas of all. She shared, Oh, this is so bad to me. Wearing white socks with ankle boots and the socks kind of peek out from the boots. I only consider this a mistake when it's obvious that wasn't the wearer's intention. If you're going for a cool sock and boot moment, be my guest, but there's definitely a difference in my book. My suggestion is to buy a pair of thin black socks and wear those with all your ankle boots. Perhaps nothing is more beloved than a high-waisted jean, and there's a good reason for the style's success. It's flattering on a lot of different body types, it keeps everything in, and can be styled in a way that's both trendy and classic. What's not to love, right? Well, we're here to tell you that there is a fashion mistake you might be making when it comes to your beloved jeans, and you need to stop ASAP. If you're pairing your high-waisted jeans with a shapeless top or oversized layer that falls well below your waist, this is your sign to change. The whole point of the high-waisted jean is to flatter those curves and highlight different parts of your silhouette, so pair your shirts accordingly. Girl Goop fashion director Allie Pugh gave some great suggestions, writing that opposites attract when it comes to styling these jeans. Opt for a great classic t-shirt that can be tucked at the waist, a French tuck for all you tan France fans out there. Or better yet, choose a flattering blouse or tank top with great detailing, bringing attention to your killer style and personality. I don't know why Dion's going out with a high school boy. They're like dogs. We all went through a phase in which we pretended to be Cher from Clueless, but that's just not the reality. And we hate to break it to you, but if you're old enough to drink or have renter's insurance, you need to put that plaid pleated miniskirt back on the rack. The schoolgirl style a la Britney Spears and Baby One More Time was groundbreaking, but by the time you're an adult, a plaid miniskirt has no place in your closet. We're not saying that all miniskirts are out of the question, just avoid combining plaid, pleated detailing, and the mini silhouette all at the same time. In order to rock a mini these days, stylist Elizabeth Sulker advises striking a balance. She told Harper's Bazaar, showing skin on the bottom and being more covered on top could be a chic and still youthful way to embrace the trend. Here's yet another fashion tip for you. It's time to replace your old bag and work that all-important accessory into your outfit. Insider noted that accessories and purses can be the finishing touches on otherwise excellently put-together ensembles. Make the wrong choice, though, and your whole look could suffer. But don't think that you have to max out your credit card on a new purse just to keep things stylish. Affordable and high-quality dupes are totally accessible nowadays. Once your bag is determined, don't forget to round out the look with some tried-and-true accessories. Pair a classic leather watch with gold hoop earrings and your outfit will look polished and put together. The days of childhood, marked by fairies, make-believe, and butterflies, are just as sweet to look back on now as they were when we were engaging in such joyful times. And while so many of us want to capture that innocence and hold on to it for as long as possible, butterflies in particular should never make it into your wardrobe. In a roundup of adult closet no-nos, Cosmopolitan noted that butterfly t-shirts and, really, t-shirts with any sort of animal decal have a tendency to look a little juvenile. 
While it's adorable to see your nephew in a dinosaur t-shirt or your niece wearing a shirt with a tiger printed on it, you wouldn't want to take fashion inspo from a toddler. If bringing a whimsical and animal-inspired look into your closet is particularly important to you, there are ways of doing it that are far more chic and on an adult level. Who What Wear recommends pairing a sleek leopard print slip dress with a cropped leather jacket and heels. The juxtaposition of the delicate dress against the cool leather will create a seriously sharp look. We are keeping it tight. It is tight. This is very tight. Here, make it. Here's a doozy for you. Don't wear items of clothing that don't fit you properly, period. There's a lot more that goes into this, and we're going to break down the reality that is size trapping and what it can do to someone's mentality and self-love. Every person who shops in the women's section can tell you that the sizing goes up and down like a yo-yo. A size 6 in one pair of jeans from one store fits like a glove, while a size 6 from another may not get up past your knees. How could the same size have completely different results? It has nothing to do with you or your body, but rather the size differentiation between brands. For many women, it can be really difficult not to tie our sense of self-worth to the size we see on the label. Any young girl who grew up reading fashion magazines can tell you that. But it's truly a losing game. Instead of buying the same size over and over again and accepting a poor fit, choose whichever size fits well. If you're especially keen on well-fitting clothes, Nicole Oktarzad, the market editor for Who What Wear, suggests going a step further and taking your clothes to a tailor to get that perfect item. As someone who obsessively tailors everything, I cringe when I see people wearing things that are in need of some seamstress love. Whether it's a hem that's too long or a dress that needs to be taken in at the waist, it's all about the fit for me. If you love a graphic tee, you're not alone. From band t-shirts to cool art deco designs, the simple graphic tee has gotten a lot of love over the years. And while we're all here for the tastefully done Nirvana shirt or the adorable oversized tee that features a tiny little embroidered smiley face in the center, there are some graphic tee rules that you absolutely should follow. Namely, never wear a shirt that takes too long to read. These shirts often come off as childish, and when we use garments such as these to do the talking for us, we may be presenting a version of ourselves to the world that we don't intend to. So put your funny sayings on your reusable water bottle in sticker form, or cover your laptop case in your favorite meme culture material, but keep it off your shirt. Personal stylist Peter Wynn and founder of The Essential Man recommends opting for one-word graphic tees instead of overly wordy styles. Single words feel a bit more sophisticated than a phrase t-shirt, which often comes off as cheesy. A bow is more than just a hair accessory. It is a sign of, a symbol of power, confidence. There was a time when bows on your shoes or bold bow detailing on shoulders and cuffs of sweaters was a thing. But that time has since passed. If you find yourself at the department store and you're inching toward the metallic shirt with outlandish bows along the sleeves in a very Jojo Siwa-like fashion, we're begging you to put it back. As Cosmopolitan noted, it's incredibly difficult to incorporate bows into your wardrobe without looking like a child or cheerleader. Rule of thumb, put the bow back. Or if you're really dying to wear the look, opt for a very subtle bow. Think about adding a bow around your ponytail and make sure that the strings of the bow are significantly longer than the actual bow itself. This will make for a subdued, adult look. While there's something incredibly nostalgic about the days at summer camp where tie-dye t-shirts were all the rage, we have some news that may not bode well for some. If you're still cutting up your old t-shirts to fashion into new designs, you need to stop. We know what you might be thinking. What's wrong with upcycling a t-shirt and making it into a fringe tank or halter top? And while we're with you on that logic, chances are your newly designed at home wear is going to last a couple of washes at best. From a style perspective, the upcycled t-shirt was very mid-2010s when cartoon mustaches were plastered on literally everything, and Pinterest boards were awash with gingham, wide diagonal stripes, long cardigans, and the chunkiest heels we've ever seen. Those days are long behind us, and your DIY shirts need to stay there too. If you're looking for some affordable and comfortable alternatives, like a t-shirt but more fashion-forward, opt for a tank top or halter. Chances are you'll find a style that fits your needs. Bonus, you can donate your old tees instead of hacking them to shreds.